back in the university days, I was working very hard to get for GPA, just like all of you out here, and just like most of you out here. It never happened. Thank you, Master of Ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, most honorable guests. Good evening. <laughs> back then, I was doing almost everything academics, extracurricular activities. I wanted to be in each and everything. The reason being, I wanted to graduate and work in IT institute is to exercise my to exercise my university learned knowledge. And finally, I graduated from University of Bahrain. And then I raised the and then the phase of job hunting came again. Having a GPA of 2.5 and, and finding a job in Bahrain, when the, when the oil prices were going down, it was very hard for me to find a job. And honestly, what I did, tell me what I did. I tried to find water. <laughs> And believe me, it worked. <laughs> Finally, I got this job by my wasta. And I was lucky enough to pass the interview with the, with the help of Toastmasters and, of course, with the help of my wasta. I was very happy that I got a good job. I got a good job and I'll, I'll be teaching children IT and I will be teaching them the IT oriented world. So I, ex I excitedly walked in in my first day. But like they say, problems and happiness are side by side. Both are part of the same subject. And then after that I walked in. I saw this my principal. She told me, here's your class. Good luck with the children. It was only then I realized that I'm going to teach nursery kids. And I was baffled. How on earth I'll be teaching TV kids and I'm an IT graduate. So I it wasn't something I wanted. Not what I'm looking for. But since I was already there, I took a deep breath and started my job. I still remember my first day of school. I first met Miss Jess. She's the head of nursery teachers. First, we had some chat together. And then she took me to this beautiful class, which from there, the idea of teaching kids has been totally changed for a better way. Then I knocked the door and I entered the class. There, I, there while I just entered the class, guess what happened? This little boy called Harley, he, he came just from back of the class just to come and hug me. Oh. Imagine that. <laughs> I was really speechless, happy, glad, and nothing, no words can express my feelings. No words can express my feelings. And with that, I met my, my colleague, which I'm going to teach my friends with, my kids with. And I'm, I'm going to help her in everything in the class. Miss Claire. She's an amazing and beautiful teacher. And then I start to, to, to chat with the kids, say, uh, ask them about their names, introduce myself, and give them that speech that I'm going to be your teacher from now on. After that, I started to, to, to observe how Ms. Claire is how is dealing, she's dealing with the kids. I was, I was wondering if I'll be able to do all this with, with the kids. It's a new experience. I saw them how they are going, running, active, and 
and running all around the class. And the most importantly, how to be patient with them. And yeah, I remember that, that day when one of the little boys, he, when he first came to the school, he came with tears when he had to leave his career. Oh God, he was crazy, crying until he find from us. So I started to, to ask myself, how on earth will I be teaching these kids? Really, it was hilarious. Whenever I, I remember these moments, I feel laughing. I feel laughing at myself. Really. And yeah, still, there's one of the kids in my class. Oh God. Until now, he cannot memorize my name. <laughs> yeah, seriously. One day, I took him to play outside the playground. And I heard him calling, Miss Yora, Miss Yora. And I ignored her. No, no, it wasn't, I wasn't pretending to ignore her. But really, I, was, I didn't know that he was calling me until he came close to me and said, Miss Yora. And <laughs> that time, I knew that it was me. I flew laughing at myself. And I said to him, Muhammad, my name is Miss Roya, not Miss Yora. <laughs> and he left playing with his friend. <laughs> Two minutes later, he came back and said, Miss Yora, Miss Yora, <laughs> Diana beat me. What to do with these beautiful kids? They are making my morning more brighter and shiny. Each year at school is a new story. Yeah, it's a to me. I love my job at the moment. All these cute kids. I'm having so much fun with them and so much to learn. And always test your abilities so you will never know when it's your time. Back to you.